uppercut. All right, back to the M5. It's only been sitting here for a week. I think the last time I polished on this thing was, uh, I don't even know when it was, but it was a while ago. Sunday, Saturday, I don't know. So I'm prepping this, just kind of wiping some of the dust off so I can take care of the windows and then the trim around the windows. Uh, I already did the other side. I already did this, the rear window, and I've already done, uh, yeah, that's all I've done. That's it. Yeah, so I need to blow this thing off. So what I'm gonna do is polish the edge. I think this thing's dumb. I know people love this, but I don't. And then we'll worry about the, uh, the windshield. I'm gonna have to replace these, but for now, we're just gonna deal with them. We'll call that another project for another day. Okay, so what I'm doing, or what worked earlier, is I used the one inch. I'm gonna hit the perimeter of the glass. The glass has all kinds of like, just beat up looking like kinda, kinda hard water, not really water spots. I wouldn't call them water spots. It's more just kinda rain etching and stuff. And so, what I did on the other side is just stuck with my M101. Speed four and a half on the polisher. And I'm gonna hit the whole perimeter here with the Nano. I'm gonna put the window down in order to get that upper section. And then we're gonna come back with the five inch and finish the job. So polishing glass is more about just cleaning than it is. I'm not fixing scratches here. I would get out CarPro Siri glass, a bottle of water, and go to town from here until the rest of my life and get very, very little work done trying to actually get scratches out of, out of glass. This is more just a deep cleaning that clay bar wouldn't get and preparing my glass for, uh, for glass sealing. We're gonna put Angel Wax H2O Go on this car and see how, it, see how it does. Blow out my pad. Since this place is already a mess anyway, whatever. The Nano, you always need to make sure you're keeping it nice and flat. Otherwise, it'll either stall or stop spinning. Since I'm only doing glass here, I shouldn't have a lot of residue coming off, so I really don't need to blow it out after each one. I'm doing it after every other pass. And after I finish the glass, I'm gonna come back and do the trim. For some reason, I did it backwards before. So I did, the, uh, I did the trim first on the other side and then did the glass. I don't know why I did that. So I'm rectifying that this, this time around. And I'm using 101. I mean, you could probably get away with Jess Car on this, make less of a mess, but I'll tell you what, I will never, if I can help it, never polish a whole car with 101 again. We're gonna have to do a whole, uh, fall cleaning of this place after I'm done with this car. All right, let me grab my five-incher. Where did that key go again? Oh, is that where it was? Idiot. Dang it. Uh, what was I doing? Five-inch. It's been a long day, people. It's been a long week. I'm getting real lazy on it. I'm just gonna smear this around and go. And I'm rolling it at speed six.
that'll do. In order to completely trash the interior, throw the key in here, probably lock it. Come on. Take his, oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Gosh, I'm really dense today. That was a dumb move, because now I got polish all up in there. Idiot. I just wanted to put it down a little bit, just so I can get this. I think is that a bit much putting the window down just to get that spot i don't think so stuff your uh condition half condition seat or whatever yeah i think it's necessary polishing is cumulative cumulative annoyance so even though i haven't polished this thing in uh, a week and a half it feels like i've been polishing for you know a week straight so i'm still cranky when we get lax, start doing a halfway job. And the risk here is I'm getting polish all over the rubber, but I don't really have a choice here. I guess you could tape it, but I plan to only do this once, ever. And finish this up. Hit the mirror up on the side here. You can't see that from your angle, but you get the idea. Just making sure this is cleaned up. Again, it might be quicker to just do a rayon pad and Siri glass, but Siri glass is such a pain to work with. All right, the heat is back. In case anybody was wondering, it's a thousand degrees out there again. And throw some of this on here. Okay, so let's wipe this off and then we're gonna do Jess car and a wool pad to the trim. Gosh, I tell you what, when I grab Jess car here in a second, it's like a dream in comparison to dealing with this 101 mess. But 101, if you don't have it in your cabinet, I've got it in the store, buy some now. It's something you need to have, I think. It's something that you're not gonna do the whole car with, and I'm sure there's there's some alternatives to it, but I think there's not really any substitute. You can tell I'm all disheveled. I don't even have my towel straight. Just ready, ready to be done. I'm gonna get to finish polishing this. Finish polishing is fun to me. Well, as fun as finish polishing can be. Oh boy, I got polish all on there. That's why we're gonna be breaking out our number 39 for sure. Wires 39. So we're gonna take take this puppy off the nano and we're gonna go wool. Medium wool. So what I found, I tried a bunch of stuff. Medium wool, one inch pad, Jeskar correction compound for our black trim. Got it pretty clean. And then what I'll do is I'll just finish it with our big bigger yellow finishing pad when I'm uh, when I'm finishing up the project here I'm gonna like speed three and a half four and treat it one section at a time now remember this polish is different this is a diminishing polish so I want to spread the area for sure I want to make sure I spread it all 
because the cut is the initial cut is different than like the successive passes. So I want to make sure I'm kind of working my way through that and breaking it down, and then it finishes down better. I just don't want to cut heavy on one section and then have no cut on the rest because I'm just like if I went over here and started polishing, I'm going to get a different result than here because I didn't have initial polish to start out with. Hope that makes sense. I also tend to move slower and more deliberate when I'm using a diminishing polish than I will with a non-diminishing like 101. Of course, I'm going to blow it out. It's a hurricane out there. I love Jess car. No dust, easy wipe off. It's just, man, so good. Just didn't have enough bite for the M5. So I'm gonna treat the windshield the exact same way I did these windows. I'm gonna use the one inch pad with microfiber and 101. Again, I don't have to use 101. I probably could just use Jess car. I just know that 101 was working on the other side after inspecting, so I didn't want to didn't want to really do any more inspection. So I'm going to do the whole edge with the one inch pad. You could probably do it with a two inch, and then I'm going to grab the five inch and hammer down speed six, finish it up. So this I'm making a solid four passes with Jessgar to do all this shadow line trim. And then we'll refine it. We'll refine it in the finishing step. Get it, step. How's that 16 to 35 looking? It's, it's not really 16, is it? Because this is a super 35 sensor. This is a full frame lens, isn't it? It's a one, that's a full frame. Yeah. yeah. So this is a 1.3. 35 crop. I think it's 1.35. No, I don't think this is a full. I don't think this props at all. How does edge distortion look? The key is I don't want to. You know, I need to not look like a chubster. Ooh, that looks good. That looks sharp. I like it. We're stuck with it now. Yeah, this is for life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I don't know about all that. I'm going big chunks. Big chunks. Don't do this if you're at home. Do it smaller sections. This is where PPF makes a lot of sense. PPF over this so you never have to see all the scratches in it. Yeah, looks just a tad bit better. We're not getting the light out for you though. It's not quite perfect, but we'll refine it down and get it as close to perfect as this shadow line is gonna get when we do the uh, finishing stage with Jessgar or an uh, Sonax Perfect Finish. So now the divots look even more divoted because we're clean. Yeah. Rolling through it. Let's do all this. Predator of the whole gosh darn room. I don't want to do any more polishing. I'm done. 
I had no help on this one. I had to do this all, I'm all by my lonesome. All right. There we go, that looks pretty good. It's about as good as it's gonna get until we finish polish it. Let's do all this section here. Blow this out. Notice how we're getting all the gunk from the rubber in our pad, but that won't affect anything. Other than making our pad not look pretty anymore. Yeah, I'd say in about uh, six months I'll have this car dialed in. It'll be great. People are going to be yelling at me about the Corvette though, because it's not getting in here anytime soon it's for the polishing. The thing has PPF all over it, so I'm sure people are going to be yelling at me when I'm yanking the PPF off. Okay, that's all good. So let's do, I'm not going to put on any more polish just so I don't want to fling it everywhere. So I'm not going to get quite as much cut around here, but. I want to hit this section of the mirror. Let's wipe this off. I think that's about it. We do this right here, and that's a wrap. Quick little clean up to call it a day. Nice. Let's put uh let's grab our carbon fiber mirror cap and throw that on here just so you can see it. Because I want to have it on here for the finishing, because I want to finish polish that. Just to shine it up. And we'll call this project a wrap, and I'll off camera I'll go and finish the windshield. But the next step is finishing. This thing is not easy to do. So, first you gotta get it on there to start. I think the thing to do is to put the bottom in and then this comes forward. But we gotta pull out here. But this has to get locked in here. Shoot. I hate this. It's such a pain in the butt. Don't do that. We might need a a little more aggressive polish now. Dang it. How the heck did I do this on the other side? There we go. Now this one has to come back. Dang it. Got it. Don't do it, whatever I just did, I don't know what I did, but don't do that. This freaking, how much are these things? A lot. 300 a piece or whatever. Idiot, it's on. Dang you. Look at that, you gotta get it out of the other angle of this thing, bro. I like this thing, This thing's legit. Look at that. Just wait till I gloss it up. That makes me nervous. You break one of those tabs and that sucker it just didn't move. Just freeze. If you freeze, then nothing got broken. That's what I've learned. Just don't move. Nobody move. <laughs> yeah, they won't, won't see you. All right, so I'm gonna do the windshield here real quickly off camera. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching this episode. I don't even know what episode we're on. We're on episode something, six or eight or 10 or 20. Uh, but I'm going to keep rolling through doing little things like this. Again, I want this on for finished polishing. I don't want this on because it has a 
plastic uh, or you know some black plastic. So we're going to work through the rest of the car uh, in uh, finishing. So that'll be our next video. Uh, Jeskar correction, no, uh, Sonax perfect finish, the yellow pad, uh, as I already did the trunk a while back. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. Catch you on finishing polishing. Keeps you on your toes. Camera every month. Let's go. <laughs> we, we don't have any left. Well, next up, we'll be doing red. Red and Ari. I bet you I'd probably like Ari better. Is it really that late? Do we need to do this?